Okay, so not only in the supine position can we scan or palpate the three heaters, but it's also very useful when you turn your client into either the prone or the side position, just to check to see how the heaters look from the, from the back. So what we can do here is, we, this is the upper heater area, we can look and we can see again how Nicole's breath is moving into there. Could you just take a, a deep breath in? Okay, we can see how it's moving into this area. We can check the diaphragm. This would be the area of the middle heater. We have the spleen diagnostic area. We have the diaphragm. And then we have the liver and the stomach uh, diagnostic areas for the back, giving this area here. And then we have small intestine and particularly the kidney and bladder areas representing the lower heater. Okay. So we've got upper heater, middle, and then lower. Okay, so once we've checked out the upper heater, we've released the diaphragm and worked on the middle heater, and we've also worked on strengthening the energy of the lower heater, we can also do some simple techniques just to finish up and to just feel the energetic connection directly between all of the heaters. Okay, so what we can do is we can hold here, which is obviously the lower heater. We can work up the body, checking the diaphragm is released. And then finally, it's really a nice thing to do to just connect the lower and the upper heaters. And we can work around the kidney meridian, the heart and the lung, feeling the connection between the upper part of the upper heater and the lower heater. And we've got some specific points here, for example, kidney 27, which is very effective for doing that. So here's the kidney meridian. So it's really quite a nice idea towards the end of the session just to make sure that the whole system of the three heaters are working smoothly together.